Hello everyone, welcome back to another die cast review. Today we have Denny Hamlin's 2021 FedEx Office, maybe? Uh, no, FedEx Ground. This is the FedEx Ground paint scheme. We've had a few of these paint schemes that had like, there was FedEx Freight, Ground, Office, and I want to say there was another one, but I don't really remember which one it was. Now you may be thinking, why do I have a Denny Hamlin 124? in the studio today well if you know me little old me uh <laughs> i'm a huge bowman fan right obviously it's been stated quite a few times now but i also like doing sets of cars so like uh let me get a, a good example well say mcdowell's daytona 500 win did not get made. Let's just say it didn't, right? I made the Brad Kozlowski race version of the final lap, and I would have made, which I mean, I did make the race win too, but I mean, if it wasn't produced, I would have made it and kept it to have like a kind of like, I'd actually, I even posted a picture on Instagram of how it would be. It was like a, it would be the winner, and then the last lap crash being the biggest uh, or most damaged car, which was Brad Kozlowski's, of course. He was the one that kind of went to the fence. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of like my idea for like a set. For example, uh, it, it was the Clash, right? For 2021. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that. 2021 where Kyle Busch uh, won where Elliot and Blaney got into each other and uh, took each other out in the third place, which was Bush, kind of came through and won. I already got Bush and Elliot completed. Now I'm working on uh, Blaney. So that's kind of like a little set, right? So, with me being a Bowman fan, obviously I would hope at least that they are actually producing the 124 of the Martinsville win. So, of course, that leaves me uh, to make the race version for Denny Hamlin because he had a little hissy fit, got in front of Bowman, and uh, was not very pleased with how he was raced. But, I mean, it's, it's kind of hypocritical, I'm not going to lie. I uh, know we brought this up before. It's already done and over with. Nobody's talking about it anymore. Uh, but he did the same thing to Elliott at Martinsville. Same track, same everything, same situation, except for Hamlin was a little more aggressive with Elliott because he just pushed him right into the wall. I think Bowman got underneath Hamlin, and then they either... Bowman came up or Hamlin came down. I don't remember. Or it was a little bit of both. And then, of course, Hamlin, you know, kind of spun around, got put into the wall a little bit, and he was not very happy. I have already made the 164, you can see that on my Instagram, but I have not made a diecast review of it yet, but you will see it shortly, trust me. So here is the 124, of course, the clean version, so I can go ahead and get it out and uh, do all the little details that I have to do, because I still have the reference pictures, and uh, well, if I can get this out. So that's going to be pretty fun, I've been working on a couple 124s here recently, I just finished uh, the 2008 Dylan Hart Jr. Richmond crash, where uh, Kyle Busch kind of did almost the same thing as Hamlin and Bowman where they just kind of got into each other and then I kind of spun around so not very good for being a junior fan such as myself but you know it is what it is see even I'm not salty about stuff I make crashes of my favorite drivers you know it is what it is that's what I do it's what I like to do so this custom should be pretty fun now it should already be off the base if I remember uh, correctly yep yes it is took that off uh, quite some time ago, I believe during the diecast haul is when I uh, took it off. And whenever I uh, get my new room built, I'm going to have like a diorama of uh, that actual wreck. Like I'm going to have them kind of facing each other, all that good stuff. So that should be a pretty interesting. I'm going to try to do that here sometime soon whenever we can just get it built. Very clean paint scheme. This is also a very popular paint scheme, not only for the... Uh, Martinsville incident with Bowman, but it won two Daytona 500s. In fact, it was 2019 and 2020. And then uh, he won like Homestead. He's won a lot in this paint scheme is all I'm really trying to say. He's won Talladega with that controversial win. Uh, so yeah, this paint scheme is uh, quite known to say the least. So let's go ahead and get this uh, started off right here on the hood. Of course, we got FedEx, his main sponsor. Now it's, it's a little small. I wish it was a little bit bigger. I'm not going to lie. I uh, just so I can kind of spread across the hood a little bit more and get some more 
uh, I don't know, kind of more uh, space filled in. Spilled? Filled in. I've got the camera a little too close here, but you can see maybe, uh, there we go, there's the Hamlin banner. And then of course on the roof, we've got the number 11 with the FedEx ground. Of course, you got the little uh, camera here. I keep wanting to call it an uh, antenna, but that's not really how that works. So maybe, yeah, roof flaps do deploy, both of them do. Uh, one just kind of uh, a little stuck right now, no big deal. Here in the back, of course, you got Hamlin. And then, of course, you got a FedEx right there on the deck lid. The den number is 288. I do not know how many was made. Let me check that real quick. 588. So this is 300 away from the very end of the production. I guess you can say this car has a little bit of uh, Earnhardt in it because it's got 3 and 88. Of course, 3 and 88 was ran by Earnhardt and Earnhardt Jr. for the longest time. Uh, so, yeah. There's, well, I mean, Jr. wasn't... Really as long because he drove the 8 mainly. Because uh, Adele Jarrett drove the 88. If we can focus up here, that'd be very, very nice. Maybe not. Uh, maybe. Possibly. Uh, no. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I'll tell you what it says anyway. It's got the Camry. Uh, FedEx.com slash Sunday Delivery. Got the Toyota right there. You can see a little bit of the uh, detail back here with the purple and the orange. Got the 11 Camry XSC with a white spoiler. We will have to change that to uh, yellow. And I'm actually going to try to put like the round of logos and the winter stickers and stuff like that the playoffs you know all that good stuff we're actually going to try to make it a little more realistic than we just normally would got a fedex ground right there nothing on the quarter panel but there will be some damage whenever we uh, get around to that of course you got the exhaust pipes right here it's kind of hard to see i don't know why well if i can even focus that'd be great too maybe there we go i guess i'll i guess i'll work on the b post we got uh yeah these this isn't gonna focus let's see it's joe gibbs offer pad coca-cola fdx i don't know really what that is maybe something for fedex i'm not really sure and uh the toyota right there then we got the little bobcat thing down here if we can focus i don't know why this thing's not focusing it never has that problem there we go sherman williams mac tools there got sports clips around at the front of course you got the NASCAR Cup Series, again, will be changed to the playoffs, and then so will the NASCAR race car. It'll be to the round of... Was it round of eight? I think it was round of eight. I couldn't... I don't know. Anyway, we'll have to do some uh, research on that. But here's the front. Just your classic Camry with the 11 K&N and, and Sunoco there. Of course, you got the, your headlights. And then let's pop the hood. If we can get it... Oh, maybe. Uh, no, we're going to have to use something to kind of get it out here. I'll find something. Eh. There we go. Now, underneath the hood, uh, of course, we got the engine bay stuff. we got some sponsors. I'm going to turn it sideways, which is Mobile One. Mobile One? Huh. Didn't know that was on Toyotas. Toyota and FedEx Air. Of course, we got the engine block. Which uh, is not a lot, but we are going to add a little bit of detail going into the actual uh, editing of the diecast, I guess you could say. The customization, I'll say that. Now, we'll show off one thing that I did recently. This is the first time I've done it, and I, I'm not really sure how many times I will do it. But you know how the elites were back in the day where they had the, uh, like the tethers and the braces and stuff? Well, I did this to my Dell Jr. Richmond. I mean, it's nothing crazy. I don't really think it looks super accurate, but it's just for a little bit more detail. I added some rubber bands in there and kind of glued them down, made them look like, you know, tethers. So, I mean, I, well, if I can focus again, that'd be nice. You can kind of see like, just, I mean, it's not really the best thing, but they do kind of like expand and stuff when you put the hood back far enough. So uh, that was my first time doing it. I don't really know if I'm going to continue that for very long. And if you're wondering, uh, no, here's a little sneak peek of the back. I did not do the back because I couldn't find any, uh, any, uh, like, not vantage points, any, like, uh, base points, I guess you should say, on the bottom where I could connect the stuff. So I couldn't really have a whole lot of room there to work with. So with that being said, that will pretty much wrap up this die cache review. Let me get a little more light in here. There we go. So once again, with that being said, that'll be all for the Stylecast review, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope you guys will enjoy the custom coming up very soon. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I need to address? I don't think there is.
I guess that's about it. So I will see you all in the next video.